Hello! In this video, we're going to explore the new Scriptcase dashboard, completely redesigned in version 9.13. The dashboard is now much more interactive and flexible, allowing us to create dynamic, organized, and personalized panels for analyzing and presenting information. Among the main new features, we now have new display modes that allow data to be shown in simple cards or summary functions, with support for both SQL commands and direct table selection. It's also now possible to integrate charts directly into the indexes, with line, area, or column options to highlight variations over time. The layout control is now much more complete. We can add dividers, align titles, include icons, customize legends, and adjust position, size, and colors. Floating widgets are another major innovation, allowing elements to be positioned freely to create more dynamic and personalized dashboards. Here we can see two ready-made dashboards with monthly sales indicators, average values, and annual performance. The layout is more fluid and modern, making real-time information analysis much easier. Next, we'll create a new dashboard from scratch to explore these new options. On the initial screen, we define the application name, language, and theme. There's no need to set up connections at this point. Once the panel is open, Scriptcase automatically adds the first widget, in this case, a link widget, where we can place an application. We'll use, for example, the Gantt chart, which also received major improvements in this version. This type of widget allows us to integrate other applications, such as grids, charts, and forms, directly within the panel. We can also work with parameter passing between applications. Next, we create a division widget, another new feature that helps structure the dashboard. We can include a title, subtitle, and even a horizontal line to separate sections. Everything is configured visually and easily, helping organize the dashboard content. We'll position the division right below the chart. Now we create the first index widget using the table sales. We can define whether it will be a summary index or a simple card, and then add the title and subtitle. In this example, we use the sales table from the sample database connected to this project, selecting the sales field to generate a monthly total. In the options marked with the new label, we find several interesting new configurations. We can define the display mode, the type of summarization, the metric used, and the comparison period. These functions allow Scriptcase to automatically calculate monthly variations, displaying cumulative values or differences between periods. Then we adjust the widget's layout. We center the elements, define the type and position of the icon, apply custom colors, and set the font size and background. We can use font awesome icons, apply gradient backgrounds, and adjust the corner radius, creating a completely personalized style. Let's also add a column chart inside our index. Very quickly, Scriptcase automatically activates everything for us. Then we create a second index, this time using the new manual select command inside a card. This option allows us to write SQL queries directly inside the widget. In this example, we use a simple command to count the number of new customers per year. With this method, we have full freedom to create custom calculations and aggregations without depending on a fixed table. We can even join tables or add SQL functions directly in the query. We'll also adjust the layout and add an icon. We position this new index right below the previous one. To complete the panel, we add another link widget, connecting it to a bar chart that was previously created. This allows us to visualize the monthly sales volume in a comparative way. The integration between widgets makes the dashboard much richer and more dynamic. After configuring all the widgets, we run the application. The panel is displayed with a modern and organized design with updated indexes and integrated charts. Back in the development environment, we now explore the layout options within the theme. In the application themes area, we copy an existing theme and make some small modifications. Inside the theme, there is now a section dedicated to the dashboard, which includes new options to configure indexes, divisions, and also link indexes. We can adjust visual details directly in the editor, controlling every part of the panel. In this example, we add a five-pixel top border to highlight the indexes. 
We adjust the border width to ensure the color displays correctly, set the style to solid, and apply a radius to smooth the corners. We can also modify the border color. If not changed manually, Scriptcase automatically inherits the main theme color. In this case, black. Another possibility is choosing a specific color for a certain border within the index, which is also a new feature. We save the changes, open the dashboard layout, and apply the customized theme. When we run it, we can see the border colors applied. Back in development mode, we add another example by applying a custom color only on the top border of one of the created indexes, visually highlighting the most important information. Here we can see one of the indexes with a red border. Finally, we access the settings area, where we find the new floating mode. This function allows us to move widgets freely, including along the vertical axis, adjusting the position manually and creating unique compositions within the panel. In this same area, we find an important option called Widget Height. It works as a multiplier used to define the height of each component inside the dashboard. For every increment, a pixel unit is added to the widget's height. If no value is specified, Scriptcase uses the default of 60 pixels. Inside the widgets, we can see how this configuration dynamically changes the size and spacing of elements in the panel. With these new options, we now have total control over the dashboard design, adjusting proportions and positions with precision. The layout improvements and floating mode make building panels much more visual, flexible, and intuitive. With all these innovations combined with the new charts introduced in version 9.12, the Scriptcase 9.13 dashboard becomes a complete tool for transforming data into visual and interactive information. More than just displaying numbers, it now offers flexibility, integration, and customization in every detail, making development faster, more creative, and visually engaging.